it's a great honor to see my artwork, my greatest yet, on a public bus. Everyone will be, wow, who made that great portrait? I wish I could do that. Art in Transit from Schools to Community is a project that I spearheaded in 2011. And the purpose of the project is to bring artwork made by children into public places. I really wanted to empower children, bring confidence to children, and just get art in, in our community and bring attention to the importance of arts education. So I found that this was a way that we could do it. Every year we have a high school bus wrap competition where we allow students to enter their designs for the bus wrap. Usually we have a theme like building communities or share the air and then we are able to showcase the artwork up to one year, sometimes two years on the outside of one bus. This year we're making a little shift and instead of having a high school bus wrap, we have elementary artwork on the outside of one bus. But we also have artwork on the inside. So usually the elementary students create artwork for the bus placards that go on the interior of um, several of the buses in our community. The theme of this project was people who give them courage. And a lot of them did women because the previous year, that was the celebration of women being able to vote. So we have artwork created by fifth graders. They created watercolor portraits and they created portraits of women that have made an impact in their lives. We also have some portraits by first graders um, and sixth graders. The first graders created self-portraits, their collage portraits and the uh, sixth graders created pop art inspired self-portraits. And the watercolor portraits are created by fifth graders from Wilson Elementary. The portrait I painted about a person named Amelia Earhart. She was the first woman to be a female pilot. She flew and she had the record to fly the highest and farthest of all time. I thought of my mom first because uh, she's there for me, so I was like, oh, she's great, and <laughs> I should do her. She's a great example to me, and so that's why I drew her. What I liked about the project was that obviously we could make new colors. The teacher said that we could make new ones to make it look more interesting, to make people surprised. Wow, it looks so great. Wow, I never even thought of doing that. I learned faces are harder to draw than you think they are. And also, while you're doing um, watercolor, uh, you have to like use the paintbrush a lot more than you think. It empowers them because it is in a public place. It's giving it purpose. That purpose then filters into all these other things into their lives. I was really shocked when I heard that it was on the bus. It's like super cool. It means a lot to me because, you know, finally being able to like show it to other people than just like my family and my classmates. Um, like having it go around the city and stuff is really cool and like, makes me happy. <laughs> it's pretty good to do hard work. Then when you accomplish it, you'll feel like, wow, it took me a lot of work when I did it. Well, I accomplished it. And if people like it, that's the thing I like. People like it, love it. Because most of the things I do, I mostly mess it up. And that's not really what I hope for. But this, I did not mess up. That's the really cool thing about it. And when people see it, they're gonna like it, I hope. It's very important to have children's artwork in public places um, to promote the value and importance of arts education.